mind like a steel trap and the physique to go with it. Well, they thought maybe they'd be able to get aggressive. Abaddon just kind of runs at you with this passive plus uh, a ink swell, but maybe that's going to be not quite so easy. SVG, though, blocked in by the Cogs. Beautiful wraparound from Schofield. He's going to dispel it, immediately relinquishing the stun. Wow. Those kind of deaths set him back big time. Oh, the Rolling Thunder looking to be able to catch some heroes. Going to run into the Cogs, though. Kind of stuck around, bouncing out. Quickly assassinated MSS. Looks like he's got Leela's joining them as well. They draw the Doom, but the reset, the hard reset, is not enough to be able to save Quinn. He was still stuck on the side of Wukong's command. Bounce over onto DM. Looking to chase him. Gets a Centaur stun. Nice hook shot. Oh. Bound by Schofield. The Cog's gonna be able to burn both of them out at the same time. What a disaster! Uh -huh. He's trying to just run. He's just, they can't hit him. <laughs> Popping his ulti on the sidelines here, shows off the Shadow Blade. There's no Lincolns available on this Queen, and they get the stun immediately with the call down. The Black Hole goes down, but they are doing enough damage on the outside. The call lands as well as the Clockwork Cook. Clockwork actually has Aghanim Scepter. He used Overclock. He's going for staking. They get the skill as well. back here there is the pop nearby and the chrono gonna land hook shot though interrupting staying alive you will scepter afterwards okay now haunt out afterwards can they do anything else they get the duel onto one that's the queen of bait she's gonna fall michael also getting brought down low paka's trying to bring down anybody that they can they get the ravage off specter getting brought down somewhat low but the manta and the walk There's only back. two left they're gonna they're die gone. the cogs push back paka's also under fire. I can see it right there. The sizable chunk taken out by the concussive shot. They are going to be able to get the coil there. Look for that toss away. And that's why JT is desperately trying to get away from Schofield. Eventually, it's going to break. They've committed so much, though. And K1 Hector actually getting tossed away. He's going to be saved. Schofield with the clutch toss. Sticks and awesome. stones will okay. break their own. Landing, trying to bring him down. BKB going to be popped, pulls him back in, and finds themselves the kill. Like, can they find any more? Gyrocopter up on the high ground. He can just hit everybody from up there. I don't know if that's where you want him, but the coconuts bouncing back and forth. Pull down's going to wear off, and... Well, now everybody hops in the Uber. Toss oh, away! Oh, oh, they got him! But now he's stuck! Pacas, he's in trouble! Oh, what a play by Schofield. Can they bring him down? They will. Damn, dude. Get that the top. Quinn's out of mana, yeah. but there's going to be the glimpse back. Leela's actually getting closer to Quinn. Just go the, the dusk kill. is always ready for him. As well, the board does manage to slow him. There's uh, Thunderstrike, oh, but not so much dead. else. He's, he's still got a Yule. Maybe he kills himself. He will be able to do that. They kill the Red Necronomicon for but Schofield knocks him out with an uppercut. Still. K1 Hector's looking for more. Blocked in by the Ice Shards for a little bit of time, but he will make nice. nice stun there from Schofield. Able to stop that TP away from SVG. Leela in I fly the wings of the TP time. in a ton of trouble. Can they bring her down in time? Abyssal Blade jump in with the Winner's Curse to save. Chris Luck able to turn this exorcism afterwards. They have take the cheese. Man, jump the cheese is on the ground. Oh, no. Hector gets it. They just give him the cheese. Everything looking great, but the Winner's Curse came out. The turn is real. MNZ still does a lot of damage. No, but it's not going to be enough. My purpose is clear. My tag is doomed. God, they found Ritu again. Wow. Just escapes with the Ghost Scepter for now. Eventually, Stampede in, possibly. Tavo, he has Blink again up again. And All right, here comes the big the arrow. Chris Luck. There's going to be the egg up on the high ground. Are they thinking about going in on this one? It's going to be a big old stuff. They're not careful. Three of them caught the impale oh. afterwards from Schofield. Yeah, what a freaking play. Whisper, chased, silent, under control. K1 Hector moving in. They got the egg off. Okay, a chance, a hope, a dream. The big old combo comes out. They're all getting destroyed. <laughs> Unreal. Well, he has a Shamulet. I saw somebody go in, Biz, but they dropped a the stomach in the back line. Arrow goes through. Chris Luck, though, with the BKB is not going to slow him down. They lasso out Moon Meander in the back, but perched off immediately. They drop the Echo, it deals so much damage, and they're cleaning up house. Oracle to make sure he doesn't get anything off for this team fight. So support is down, there is no false promise, and they are trying to burst away, but the slam comes through again! He's just got barely enough HP to keep going here. He's got the now Invis Earthshaker, and they he's can't get him. See that Motto trying his best there. They find the kill on Kezu, burning away. They get the kill, and Aoi trying to solve that one, but the Echo goes through, burning down the heroes and crazy.